Wake up! It's Dana's birthday! Happy birthday, Dana! Thanks, Ryan. Thanks it's for being birthday. here on my birthday ride. Hey, I wouldn't miss it. Good morning, good morning. Time to get up, Santa. I like not your shirt. speaking to you. You got me into this. <laughs> okay, You're Santa. not enjoying your egg ride? <laughs> well, this morning I woke up and I thought, this is not me. <laughs> what are you doing, Mom? Well, I'm trying to get the air out of my air mattress that you recommended that I get a nice, big, thick air mattress. But every morning, this is what takes me the longest, is getting the air out of it. Happy birthday, dear Dana. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, Dana. I'm uh, Chris Brewer and I have the honor of being the director of events for the Davis Finney Foundation. I'm a co-captain of uh, Team Pedaling for Parkinson's. Got 75 people out here, 15 with Parkinson's, raising money for the foundation but also proving that you can live well with Parkinson's and just get out and crush it. Cool. And if, you know, what does Parkinson's do to somebody's body? Well, Parkinson's is what we call a neurodege neurodegenerative disease. Uh, it's in the base of the brain and it's really a movement disorder. And what is maybe counterintuitive is that movement is great for people with Parkinson's. It makes their lives better. And so something like Ragbri, getting on your bike, it's a perfect thing for them. And uh, who is Davis, Davis Finney? Uh, who is Davis Finney? If you're not a fan of cycling and don't know who Davis Finney is, you need to uh, Google him and figure it out. The winningest American professional cyclist of all time, 328 career victories, captain of Team 7-Eleven, one of the greatest teams ever. Uh, and Davis got Parkinson's at age 40. Uh, since then, he's about 20 years now living well with Parkinson's. Came out here on Tuesday, the whole day was honoring him and Dr. Jay Alberts, who's from Iowa and discovered on Ragbri that cycling is good for people with Parkinson's. We live in Taipei, Taiwan, and uh, we're not originally Taiwanese, but we've lived there for a while. And before we moved there, we had done Ragbri once, which was five years ago, and we said, hey, we're never gonna miss this. So we left some bikes in Chicago. So we fly into Chicago, We our buddy stores our bikes, we drive over here, do the ride, put the bikes back, fly back to Taiwan. So Sunday, Sunday evening, we got a flight back to Taipei. And why do you love it? Let's say you're from Mary Beth. Why do you love being yeah. here? Why do you make it such a priority? Oh my God, riding your bikes, this, this is, I wish this was real life. I wish riding bikes every day was like riding bikes on Ragbri. There's little cars on the road. There's lots of people biking. You're never alone on Ragbri. It's a fantastic way to spend the week. It's being with like-minded people that like cycling. And you know, nobody's getting angry. There's no road rage. There's not, it's, it's really this sort of idealistic world. And uh, it's like, uh, it's like being in fairy tale land for a week. Where's your phonometer right now? Oh, oh. Oh, it's all, <laughs> Max now. It's um, Max. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had access to a laundry machine on all of Ragbri, so every water slide, that's my laundry machine. Mm. Pickle juice, oh. woo! Birthday pickle juice. You. It's the vinegar that helps relieve the cramps. When it hits your taste buds, it sends a shock through your nervous system that just stops the cramping sensation. Uh, and then it also the sodium helps you retain some water. That car back there has been stuck in a mass of cyclists for a long time, but they seem happy. They're just smiling and going with the flow. They're going bike speed. <laughs> it's pretty cool. The locals seem to really enjoy Ragbri. Obviously Ragbri brings tons of money to each of these little towns, huge economic boost. And it's just 
fun. I think they like seeing people from all over the world. Yeah, look at that. Dana, have you ever pet a goat on your birthday? No, it's my first birthday goat petting. Look at its cool eyes. Oh. Oh. Puppy love. Very sweet. Are they horses or donkeys? Miniature donkey. This is this Oreo. A miniature? This is Oreo. She is two months. Two months old? Oh, I know. You are adorable. You are just adorable. Yes, you are. Mm, yeah. Our mission is to assist any uh, riders along the course. During the day, they may have a uh, broken chain, they may have a shifting problem, may have a derailleur hanger break, um, or the primary stop are the tubes that uh, blow. And so we have created partnerships with communities and also bike um, shops that we can get some of these products donated that we're going to carry with us to assist these other cyclists. And being public servants, this is an opportunity for us to engage with the people in a way that we already live. The Air Force cycling team has had 25 years. This is the 25th anniversary. And our mission for helping has really ramped up in the last 12 years. And how many tires personally have you fixed this week? I have averaged about five stops per day. Um, and that's with chains, shifting, um, and tubes like this. Did you, did you know the Air Force would come save the day? I, we actually had seen them on the road the last couple of days helping people. So as soon as we broke down, the first thing she said was, let's look for some Air Force guys to see if they can help us out. So yeah, and also they came buzzing around the corner and we're like, help. Buddy. How you doing, man? Good, good. How you doing? Doing great. Having a great ride. Woo. Uh, my name is Mario Bennett. Um, I have post polio. I'm meeting out here to get on open road with the, doing my hand bike, being around people, telling you to keep going, like, you know, go, you know, arm cranker and just, uh, you're almost up on top of the hill. And I think it's just telling people, just kind of like I was saying a little bit ago, you can do it, there's no limits. How difficult is it to complete a day of rag ride? Uh, not bad. I mean, it's just uh, you know, it's just kind of uh, you're tired at the end of the day, but uh, drink as long as you drink a lot of water, you know. And what does post polio mean? What does it do to you? Uh, well, I can walk a little bit, but um, but it's just like it's uh, I'm in no wheelchair and stuff. Thanks for having us at your house. We appreciate it. Well, you're very welcome. <laughs> you have a great spot for watching the festivities. Yeah. Yes. Has well, this ever come by your house before? Yes, it has. It has. Uh -huh. Yeah. A long time ago, or? Um, no, two or three times oh, it really? has been by. Yes. Oh, wow. uh -huh. Yeah. And you like the event? Yes. You do? Yes, okay. we do. Oh, I would love to have gone on this at one time. But the years creep up and you don't get there. How's it going, Julie? It's going good, so Ryan. I was riding along and she just came out to the road. Stop! This is a great spot to hang out. We got shade, we got Wanda's yard. We got a nice view. It's perfect. And Julie, we stayed with Julie last year in Ames, Iowa during Rag Rye. And now we have a friend for life. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. And I actually got to meet Ryan's mom. That's right. Met Dana and Xantha. That's true. It's fun to sit here and heckle people. <laughs> You're doing awesome. Only 10 more miles. It's a all lie. downhill. <laughs> That's the other That's a lie. All these are lies. <laughs> slowly through Geode State Park now and it's really beautiful because most of the roads in Iowa that we've ridden on have been lined with farms and corn and soy but we're out here in nature we got forest alongside the road which is a nice treat Woo! Yeah. My mom 
this rotor bike 75 miles. 76 miles. Way to go, that's pretty darn impressive. It is an early morning today. We're talking like 5.30 a.m. But you gotta start early because this is the last day of Ragbri and we gotta get all the way to the end <laughs> in time to get in the shuttle and go back to Council Bluffs so we can get our cars. I am not riding my bike home, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm gonna jump in the car with Dan and Xantha, my mama. Oh, it feels so good to be on the bike. Even on day seven, I'm still excited to be riding the bike. Final day of Ragby, everybody! Don't cry! Woo! Yes! One last day of fun! Bye. Now I'm gonna ride on an antique tractor. Yeah! All right, what's your name? Ray. Ray, nice to meet you. You bet. Let's go for a tractor ride. Okay. How old is this thing? 1955. No way! And it's been working ever since? Yep. Pickle sandwiches under the grandstands, and I'm gonna show you the pickle dance. This is the pickle dance. You don't see that everywhere. Where else have you seen this today or this week? This is it right here, Donaldson Island. So, how did you guys build this pool? I uh, had an excavator come in and dug the hole and took a silage tube and cut it in half and then lined it and used the tarp on the dirt hill, and then we filled it up yesterday morning. That's about it. Did you do this just for Ragbri? Oh yeah, just for Ragbri. <laughs> so this is not the town pool? No, this is not the town pool. It's going to be empty by tonight, probably. <laughs> it's the last day of Ragbri, and you got to take advantage of every body of water you can jump into. And this one is one of the finest I've ever seen of all my Ragbri's. This is chicken salad, so it's chicken. Uh, mayonnaise and then salt and pepper. Is this something your town is known for? No, we wanted something unique for the rag briars and this is what we chose. See, we got pickle with mayo, then we put on some romaine lettuce, and then we do cheese, tomato, piece of bacon, another pickle, put it together. This is a good day today. There's a lot of people here. I just got done being the costume for three and a half hours, so I'm taking a break and then we'll go back up. Welcome everybody to Donaldson. We're a big deal here, D-I-L-L, -L, big deal. at about the last 10 miles of Ragbri, which also means the last 10 miles of my thousand mile ride from Boulder. I'm gonna cherish these ones. It's been a beautiful trip. It's been hard, it's been hot. I got to share the love of my the state of Iowa with my mom and Dana and Xantha and others. And it's been a special two weeks for sure. Very needed for my heart and my soul. It was good to be outside, camping under the stars, figuring things out, making new friends, eating ice cream and beans and moving my body all day, every day. Oh yes, so good. Yes, ah, oh, it feels great. Thank you. Feels good. Look, there's the Mississippi. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> boom, 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 yeah. What a great day to be alive. What a great week to ride bikes. What an awesome state. Thank you, Iowa. Thank you, Ragbri. I will see you again someday. I love you, Hawkeye State.
Настя!